The School and Observatory of Earth Sciences of Strasbourg has three main missions, teaching, research and observatory programs. Our five main themes are continental lithosphere dynamics, water resources and fluid circulation, especially in the context of global change, reservoirs and in particular geothermal resources, lithosphere dynamics, especially earthquakes and seismicity, finally deep earth and its structure and processes. We record and provide geophysical and environmental data from metropolitan France and from other places in the world, including Antarctica, in many different fields. These include seismology, magnetism, gravimetry, geodesy, and environmental geosciences. EOST hosts bachelor's, master's, and PhD programs in many earth science fields, including geology, geophysics, and environmental geosciences. We run the only French engineering diploma in geophysics. This involves theoretical and practical teaching by industry and academic experts. So the university campus here is extremely dynamic and is very beautiful. The same can be said for Strasbourg itself. We are located in the centre of Western Europe and so very close to other universities in France, Germany, Switzerland, the Netherlands and Belgium. Our research addresses how the Earth's surface evolved through geological times and what are the drivers of these changes. The surface of our planet is highly dynamic because the Earth has moving tectonic plates and it hosts an atmosphere, biosphere, cryosphere and hydrosphere. Climate is a major driver of environmental changes as illustrated by the dramatic shrinking of Lake Chad in the past, today and maybe tomorrow. Geologists find evidence of ancient ice sheet over Africa. This shows that uh, continental drift also drives changes of surface but at geological time scale. Landslides are both a process that shapes the Earth's surface and a geohazard that cause risks and damage to the society. The precise timing of the evolution of continental environment is a major issue. That's why we are running a lab of geochronology using cosmogenic isotopes and uranium series. In a context of global change, we investigate alteration, weathering and water transfer processes in continental hydrosystems. We develop multi-scale biogeochemical and isotopic approaches to understand mechanisms and processes in the critical zone. Specifically, we focus on four topics, the processes and reactions that determine the properties of water-mineral interface, the history of formation and evolution of alteration profiles, the exchange and transfer between soil and vegetation, and the transformation and transport of micropollutants in soil and at the catchment scale. We benefit from the technical support of Biogeochemical Analysis Center dedicated to soil and water chemistry, fluid mineral interfaces and isotope measurement. To evaluate and predict fluid circulation and water resources, we combine laboratory experiment with field experiment, especially on our observatories, monitor for more 35 years for the Strenbach catchment in the forest and for more 20 years in the Varnier catchment of Rufac. The development of hydrobiogeochemical model includes advanced computational techniques, inverse problem and uncertainty analysis. A key question in earthquake science is to understand what controls the behavior of active fault systems, what regions are prone to experience large earthquakes, and the problem is that fault processes span a very wide range of timescales. Now, a recent game changer is the explosion of near-fault observations, which is a, a new opportunity to better capture the accumulation of strain over centuries, over decades. Over much shorter timescales, we can also combine various datasets to constrain how this accumulated strain is then released by earthquakes or slow sleep events. We can also investigate uh, links between magma and activation of faults or earthquakes. For example, we can use uh, new earthquake detection location techniques to track how magma migrates in volcanoes. In the Alsace region of France, we're very, very proud of our history of geothermal energy exploitation. Since the 1980s, there have been many, many wells drilled into the area, some of which are as deep as 5,000 meters. The reason why there's so much geothermal energy in the region, energy exploitation, is that they are exploiting a thermal anomaly and also a hot natural brine 
within a fractured and therefore permeable granitic basement which acts as the geothermal reservoir. We work very closely with French geothermal industry. Geothermal research is also funded by the National French Research Agency. I work in the Rock Deformation Laboratory to supply uh, rock physical properties of the geothermal rocks of the area to inform on numerical modelling, heat flow modelling for example. Our strength measurements in the lab can also help with borehole stability assessment and also stimulation strategies. Accessing the, the deep earth interior is difficult from the surface so we need continuous and uh, precise uh, observation. At AOST, we have developed seismic tomographic techniques that provide us with quantitative image of the lower mantle. We can also use some gravimetric and geodetic and magnetic surface observations. So for instance, from magnetic observation, we can reconstruct core flows at the core surface. Going deeper into the Earth's core is more difficult. The inner core has some oscillations that we have never uh, detected till now. So gravimetric, uh, magnetic, seismological and geodetic observatories are all uh, very important to have a chance to detect uh, small signals coming from the Earth's deep interior and particularly a global coverage is very important. So stations like the one in Antarctica are fundamental in our research in the deep uh, interior of the Earth. In conclusion, we conduct innovative research in uh, geosciences, especially looking at the links between deep earth processes and surface processes, natural hazards, natural resources and environmental geosciences. We provide a unique international teaching environment that combines university programs, an engineering school, and doctoral programs with very active research teams.